Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning back in and thank you for tuning in to this, I guess, a uh, home makeover series. I am so excited. Everything is coming along really well. The last you guys would have seen was us putting together um, the entertainment unit and moving it into place. I will show you the new entertainment unit very, very soon. But right now I'm going to go shopping because there's still some little things that I want to find. Um, so I'm going to go to Kmart and I'm also going to go to Snug, which is one of my favourite homeware stores. Hopefully I will find some things that I'm looking for. Some of them I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking for. I just have an idea, so I'm hoping that if I see something it'll just jump out at me and be like, I'm the one, pick me. I'm looking for things like a tray to go under the vase, candle and fruit bowl on my dining table. And we're also going to change the picture ledge because it's going to be way too hard by the sounds of it. Both of our fathers have said it's going to be a bit difficult, especially because we're in a rental. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some 3M hooks and just place them all up on the wall. So I think that'll be nice and that way it's a little safer to do here in a rental as well. I'm also looking for some more like fake flowers. I really want to get some new ones, but I just I suck at keeping them alive. So I guess here and there I'd like to have some fresh flowers, but um, also recently I get really bad hay fever. So it's never really a good idea for us to get fresh flowers, but they're also very pretty and lively and I think having fresh flowers in the house is really nice and fresh so yeah okay so if I start over here I've taken down the print still got the hook there but I am going to sort out the print for that tomorrow actually that's right I was going to put a painting there that I am going to do well I'm gonna give it a shot because there's a piece of artwork that I really love however it's completely sold out and also it was like $800 and I think that was in US or Canadian dollars so yeah not in my price range but I really love it and since you can't get it anywhere I thought maybe I'll just try and give it a go and do it myself otherwise I'll just put a print there we'll see how I go then I've got the mirror here like usual don't know what I'm doing with that thing I don't love it over here on the bar cart I still want to swap these out for some nice big flowers just mostly white I think or like you know like a creamy white and then um, also just bits of like beige or something coming through We'll most likely just find some fake flowers, but I wouldn't mind some fresh ones there here and there. Then over here I've got the little champagne flutes. The Shivers Regal is just sitting there, but I actually don't really mind it. That crest is quite vintage looking. Then we've got this cute little vintage alarm clock from Ikea, um, which you guys would have seen, as well as that pot plant. And I popped a little orange here next to the chandon because it's like a mimosa, and I love a mimosa. And then downstairs is just... Nah, I'm not touching it for the time being mostly because we don't have enough cupboard storage to actually put some of these bottles away so I'm just leaving it for the time being. I don't mind it. I like this being all nice and clear and that's okay to be nice and full. Then over here, I think I've shown you guys this but I've got the candlestick holder and the little faux succulent. I thought that was just kind of cute to just layer it up a bit rather than just plain books on a marble tray. Uh, these are the cushions that you guys have seen, the nice little karate chops there in the corner. And then I've got my beautiful throw, which what I want to do is I want to stack books. I can't remember what I've said in the last vlog or not because I haven't edited it yet. Um, I literally ended it today. So I want to stack some books here, I think, and maybe like a nice candle on it. Just something to kind of break it up because it is just like black and then it's white or well, cream. Then what you've all been waiting for. This is the new little entertainment unit. How cute is it? I feel like it has so much personality. I love it. For the time being, I've just put this little setup here, the picture of Reese and I in New York. I don't love the red, but also like it's New York and I don't really mind it. It's a it's a beautiful memory, I love it. So it's okay, it, it, it's not horrible. And then we've got a little Ikea candle that I haven't lit yet, but I really need to do that. And then this <laughs> greenery. And then what I got from Kmart today were these two books. So I've got the New York one, which Reese wanted ages ago. They're only $9, but I think at the time we were just like spending a lot of money and he was like, no, I don't need it. And I saw it and I was like, look, these are great little stacking books, great for like a coffee table or something. So um, I thought, well, actually I could probably pop them in here. And then we've got the Xbox there and I haven't got anything in that shelf. All of the 
all of the stuff from the last entertainment unit have just been moved into the drawers so that's great fabulous space I got heaps of hooks and I got two more frames for this wall that I'm gonna sort out hopefully maybe tomorrow or Wednesday I will sort that out so that is where we're at for the time being I'm liking the living room it's coming together it does just need some art some pictures just a bit more hominess to it I guess but I love this entertainment unit it's so little like I didn't I like I knew it was gonna be lower but you know just when we're so used to having a high one it's so cute though it has so much personality look at it it's like hello I'm an entertainment unit <laughs> Okay, so I have just put a tan on. I was saying to Reese, it would be so cool if we had like a waterproof phone case, even though my phone is somewhat waterproof, but it would be really cool to like have one that sticks up onto the shower door so that I can watch YouTube videos when I'm in the shower and I have to exfoliate and shave and all that sort of stuff. And it's one of those longer showers um, and it just gets a bit monotonous and boring. And so I thought it would be so cool if we could watch well, if I could watch YouTube videos in the shower. And then he was like, well, why don't we just use my tentacle, which is this bad boy here. And then we just placed my phone on the top here and bent it up and I could watch, I put it landscape and I could watch my YouTube videos in the shower. How amazing is that? guys today is Tuesday and I woke up to the coolest thing ever I just like to say that this is my current setup how funny is that I've got my mini tripod hooked through my big tripod and it's just resting there but it'll only sit sideways so like landscape so I'm just taking pictures a little further away so that I can then crop them portrait because I cannot for the life of me get oh my god I should just screw my phone onto my bloody ring light what am I doing here I am thinking this is so creative and so wonderful wow I'm actually a fool oh my goodness I have been starving throughout my little mini photo shoot um, and so I'm having lunch finally it's like oh, 3.30 or something in the afternoon bit late but better now than never I cooked it all up last night so I've got well I cooked up my veggies last night this is what I had for dinner last night it was so good always have to make extra for leftovers because I always want to have it the next day as well it's pretty simple um, oh my goodness, <laughs> as I was saying, um, brown rice, just the sunbeam one, I think that's what it's called, or sun rice or whatever, um, and yeah, so I just heat that up and I use about mm, three quarters of the cup, and then I've got just some cut up capsicum, tomato and red onion that I just cooked up in um, extra virgin olive oil, I just pop that on, I don't think I made enough but oh well that's okay I can eat something else if I want to then I grab some canned corn pop it on yeah actually this looks a bit small but with the rice it becomes a pretty filling meal a little tiny sprinkle of cheese Bum. 
And then this is just my best life hack. It's the Norganic Soya Mayo. And it is so yummy. You can get it from Woolies. It's about $7, I think, but it's worth it and it lasts forever. Just a blob of that and boom. Oh, days go so short in winter. You feel like you get nothing done. I mean, I did just spend a little bit of time just taking photos. But hey, it makes me happy. I felt pretty and I wanted to show people how I looked while I felt pretty. You know, like sometimes you just got to give yourself some credit and be like, hey, I look good today. I'm gonna share that with the world because it makes me feel good too. It probably helps that I put a tan on last night. I feel like putting a tan on puts me in the best mood. I don't know if it's just the golden glow or it kind of like gives you the illusion that you're a bit more toned than what you are. Um, but I don't know. I think it just makes colors pop on me and it, I like color and so, you know, Bob's your uncle. A tan just gets the job done, it makes me happy. So I say if something makes you happy, go do it. Alright. <laughs> yes, I'm sitting on the couch for my lunch. Yep. I could have sat at the dining table, but for some reason I just moved over here and now I'm here, so I'm just gonna eat it here. I'm not gonna bother moving now. So I'm filming a um, TikTok video at the moment. And it requires me to paint my nails, so I'm just quickly painting them right now. They're such a pretty little colour though. They're like a really light, light pastel blue. And this is the personalisation that I did. It's with Basis. So Basis is the brand, that's how you spell it. Um, and so I put Cat, you're nailing it. How good is that? I've only got my camera down here because my tripod has my phone on it and I can't move my phone because it's one of those like I need to stop it and start it like I'm just, as if I'm in the same place, if that makes sense. This is my outfit. So I got my forever new pants. I've got this Kukai top um, and my Louis bag. And I've also just brought this creamy linen blazer from Glassons with me just in case it gets a bit chilly. Um, got my extensions in. And now I'm going to go head off to lunch with my mother. Okie dokie, so I just got home from lunch with my mother. I didn't film too much. We actually went homeware shopping. She got some stuff for herself and I also got a few things for myself. And she actually bought me something as well. So anyway, I'll get to the point. Oh, Reese is doing the dishes. <laughs> Making a racket over there, Reese. Oh my god, I just found my rings in my pocket. I forgot because I put sanitizer on. Wait a sec. Yes. Okay, so mind the things that are on the table at the moment, but this is what I wanted to change. I like this. It's just that it's too much white on white on white on white. So I wanted a different tray and I just couldn't find one that I was really into. I thought I wanted something gold just to tie in the gold from like everything over here. But once I saw this tray, I thought it was quite New York-ish, but then it was also a bit like Italian countryside, you know, tying in with the oranges. And it was also just a bit like industrial kind of. So I thought that was cool because it's kind of... New Yorkish, like New York, it's a bit industrial. So, without further ado, here's the tray. Here it is. It's a little bit smaller, I think. Yeah, it is. It's a little smaller, but yeah, isn't it fun? Rustic. Yeah, it is a bit rustic. It's kind of like a little like farm crate, but it was cute and like the little bit of black ties into, you know, all the black we have in the living room. And so I thought that's actually kind of cute. It's warm tone, so. Yeah, as much as I wanted to steer away from wood, I saw this and I was like, I actually really like it. Very Indiana Jones chic. What? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I 
How cute is that? I actually really like it. I swapped out the candle. I think I've got two candles coming that are actually like in like tin uh, paint tins and they're really cute and they've got like a beige um, label. So I'm thinking I'll swap them out for that when I get them. They're from Marla, the brand. So I've got the creamy cashmere coming and then also cozy, which is like pecan and maple or something i don't know they both sound really yummy and also i want to get like a proper like cute like vintagey type of fruit bowl but for the time being i've just got this white one and i guess like the cream and the white doesn't exactly work but hey it's better than nothing at the moment so actually what would it look like if i just <gasps> wait a second what if i just like stacked the fruit on their own. Uh, uh, they're in the corner. I don't know, but you know what I was trying to go for. All right, next thing I got were these beautiful big fake roses. You guys know I wanted some white flowers to pop in this vase here, and I thought maybe this would do the trick. So let's take these silly pampas grass things out. Reese, what do you think of that? It's yeah, kind of cute. Nice. Yeah. yeah that's nice. I, like I think that. that's nice. And they're not too white white. They're kind of like a creamy white. So that's nice. I just, I think some of this greenery, I think can probably head more towards the back. Ah. It's really nice when you look at the whole cart as well, because the green ties in nicely with the Jameson and Jager monster. Oh God. And then the last thing that I got was this cute little vintage mirror that I think I'm going to place over here. Once I sort it all out properly. Yeah, probably not right there, but ta-da! Okie dokie, Reese is going to be my photographer today. I'm going to go shoot some of these little glasses Mission pieces. Mission free once again, <laughs> against my will. <laughs> I know, I'm always reaping the benefits. Yeah, I know. And Reese is the one I'm doing the hard work. Using my fuel. <laughs> So originally I wanted to go to like a flower field or something, but we really don't have anything like that around here. So instead we are going down to the water. pictures did a little quick change took some photos outside Reese's parents house as well because they had a really good golden hour going on now we're back home I'm just gonna eat this pasta bake that I made last night then we're gonna watch some Big Brother Okay, 
Good morning everyone. So last night we had a bit of an ordeal. I woke up at 1.30 or so to go to the bathroom and as I was leaving my ensuite, I saw a lovely big fat huntsman spider on the wall next to Reese while he's asleep. I was like, oh my god, Reese, wake up! And poor Reese was like frozen in terror because he doesn't really like spiders. So I had to take charge <laughs> and we spent an hour trying to catch this huntsman as you can see from like the raid in the background so it was under the bed for a while and then he kind of moved over to the wardrobe and then he was in the wardrobe we took all of the things out of the wardrobe that was on the floor so like you know all the shoes and bags and stuff and he disappeared so we're just hoping that he kind of climbed up the clothing. I did go through all of my pieces on that side, but couldn't find him. So I'm thinking he's probably inside one of my jumpsuits or something. But we're going to capture him now because we are so scared <laughs> of this thing. So we just want to capture it and get it out of our house. So we're just going to go for it. Oh, fingers crossed he's still in the wardrobe. We sprayed the bug spray all over the wardrobe like railings down here um, just in case he tried to get out but you know there's many other openings <sighs> okay let's do this There's that heart rate again. <laughs> I know, I'm real sweaty now. Okay, alright, maybe the- up. Yeah, he looks- He looks pretty- yeah, he looks pretty dead, but let's just move everything over. Just in case he just randomly starts moving. You know, he can yeah. be asleep, we don't know. So far it's not- He's not moving. <laughs> Ugh, I wanna vomit, yuck. You can film. Alright. I'll do what I'm good at. Yeah. Filming, not catching do your, spiders. Do your job. Okay. Oh, he's right in the corner. It's like awkward to... But I guess don't do it super quick. Just sort of not try right. and land it on him. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. Is this... Come on, focus on me. Can you take a picture so that I can show everyone on Instagram? Because everyone was like, Ugh, I would have cried or vomited. So here we are. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Okay, let's do this. Let's just take him outside or do we go down the drain? I don't know. No, don't go down the drain. Okay, outside it is. Probably won't fit down there. True. Okay. I feel bad. I did want to let him out alive, you know, like, I didn't, yeah. I didn't want to kill him. Yeah, that's but right. But also, I didn't want him in my bedroom, so. What do you want him out? I'm going to have to take my socks off, my bed socks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't do it. Thanks, Reese. Again, doing what you're good at. Yep. <laughs> Videography and taking my socks off. What I went to uni for. Yep, thank you. All right, let's go. Oh, my neighbors are going to see me in my pajamas. They're gonna see me <sighs> bitching it without the spider. This is how the situation goes every time. I always, I remember the first one. The very the first one me. I did. It took a while. The very first one I did. Yeah, and then I was like, you know what? I think I'm better at this. Yeah. All right, let's just. Go You're a bit more assertive. Bye. Success. Jeez, now I feel like I need a shower because I just got really sweaty from that. <laughs> that was so nerve wracking. We're gonna have to put everything away now. Do I look familiar? Do I look a little bit like Penny Lou Pingleton? Is it Penny Lou? Penny? Yeah, I think so. 
Penny Pingleton. I don't know, it's not exactly sitting up properly. Anyway, I'm making TikToks because I did most of my work last night, which gave me time to use this daylight to make some videos because I didn't make any TikToks yesterday. So I'm doing the what I'd wear challenge or trend. It's trending at the moment. So I'm jumping on that trend and I'm doing what I'd wear if I were in Mean Girls, Hairspray, Grease and Heathers because they are four of my favorite movies. There were so many more that I wanted to do but I was like, hey, they're kind of all different. So that's pretty fun. And then I'm also simultaneously doing some of my favorite TV shows as well. So I've got Stranger Things, Sex Education, Gossip Girl, and Carrie Diaries. So those are the four TV shows I'm doing at the same time. So I've just had to like work it as in like, all right, so I had some with straight hair and now I'm doing all the ones with the curled hair and then I'll get to perming my hair with a <coughs> tiny little, with a tiny little rod. Okie dokie, so for some, oh, my fan, sorry it's so noisy, um, for some of the characters that I'm doing, they have really tight ringlets, like Sandy and Grace, and I'm going to do Carrie Diaries, and I'm also doing Heathers, which is set in the 80s, so I am going to perm my hair, not a real perm, just curl it, but I'll pop this, oh, what if I can pop it like that, let me... So this is the colour that I use, it's already like burning and I feel like because I've already curled my hair today it's most likely going to just singe all my hair off but you know, whatever, it's for the TikTok, right? I'm going to try and do it as quick as I can because it kind of looks like it's going to rain and get really dark outside and I can't have that. No sorry. I don't have any heat protectant spray in case you're going to ask me, no, I don't, I don't actually own any and I really should, so um. If anyone would like to send me some, please do. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be hot, 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 hot. The last time I did this, my hair like kept getting stuck on it. And so I have to try and remember what I was doing to stop it from doing that. I don't remember what I did. Maybe I didn't put it on as tight or something. Or did I have to like unwrap it or something and pull it off? Oh, that's so bad. I'm gonna have to do a hair mask or something <laughs> after this. We're sitting here with a full battery um, right next to the bathroom anyway, so I can still show you guys how I'm going to do this. What I'm first going to do is I'm going to take a wide tooth comb that has a lot of hair on it. Ew. I'm just going to try and comb through all of the curls. I'm just going to face this way because my mirror is here. Oh, look at that bounce! Woo! I feel like Carrie Bradshaw. This is great fun. It's horrible for your hair, but it's fun. I should get some sort of mousse or something to put it in just to make it like real luxurious. If anyone knows of any like good mousses for curls, that would be very helpful. Sometimes it's easier if you just start from the bottom and then work your way up because it can get quite knotty. Because it's quite... Well, if you have dry ends like me, you can. I really need a haircut. Exactly. So, 
if you want you can just leave it like this it's very fun and big lots to play with or if you do want to just shape it a bit more you can tease it um, get yourself a small tooth comb and I don't know if there's a specific name for that and just I just want a bit more volume up the top doesn't really matter about smoothing it out because well it's all curly so you can kind of get away with teasing and then just to lock it in place, I'm going to use the Way Texturizing Hairspray because it's my favourite because I have no texture in my hair. There you go! Big 80s curls. Didn't take too long, I don't think. Maybe like 15. 20 minutes um, and the curler that I used was from Curlicious model ZX016 I don't know if that's like what it's called but you might be able to find that so um, yeah this is what it looks like okay guys so I have just managed to get a buyer for our TV unit the old one they should be here in like Maybe half an hour or so. Reese should be home soon though, so hopefully he'll be able to help them get it into the car. So this lady who was going to buy the TV unit, I mean quite, because we think they might be outside, but we're not sure. Um, she was meant to be here at 4.30, and she said at 10 past four that uh, she might be running a bit late because of traffic. And I said, yeah, no worries. It's now six o'clock. I've been hearing sound out the front but we haven't had a knock on the door yet so I've got the front lights on I'm hearing lots of like doors slamming and stuff but then also the people across from us are moving out at the moment so like it could just be them I don't know okay so it's now two hours past the time she was meant to be here she hasn't even looked at any of my messages and she obviously hasn't bothered to let me know that she was going to be two hours late so we're assuming she's just a no-show i've now messaged one of the other people that were interested in it to let them know that it's now available again if they would still like it ah <sighs> so frustrating i've been so hungry and wanting to have dinner and everything and i've just been waiting until this was done before i settled down and started making dinner and stuff and then she just didn't show but i'm freaking out because she's got my address you know like what if she's a weirdo what if she's gonna come in the middle of the night and like burn our house down or like try to rob us i think all the sounds outside are the people who are moving i think i am gonna have to wrap up the vlog here because i'm actually this is gonna be a really long vlog now that i think about it so i'm gonna head off thank you for watching guys thanks for sticking around i'm sorry i never got to the wall that will be in the next vlog, 100%. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and make sure you hit the bell for notifications every time that I post. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. <laughs> Thanks guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.